I be? Cause you feeling me? The L to the K I N. It's little Kim the sex pistol. Stay moist in the middle like wet tissue. Melt in your mouth when I French kiss you. After me, you won't need another bitch with you. Pass the hey, what's going on, everybody? January flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And if you're seeing me, then you know it's time to spill that baddies east tea, honey. Yes, we are up to episode six, and I have to say, with this episode, what was more disappointing? Anna versus DJ or was it the fact that you ended the episode with the clip that's been floating online for seven days yes the clip they gave us last week is literally where this episode ends with Scarface entering the home this episode showed a lot it showed DJ Sky and got hands mm -hmm. We also see Natalie treating these girls some type of way this episode. I'm like, this is a mess, honey. So this episode opens up with the Anna versus DJ Sky brawl. And I have to say, Anna, you got heart, girl. Because DJ Sky did rush you, like you said. And she kept trying to use her bottom as if it was a weapon. DJ, and the fact that when you went into the house and you told the girls that you're trying to make up with Krishan, you said, and Krishan treating me some type of way. She said, we out here trying to take care of the girls that she wanted to seek you to take care of. And it's funny because if y'all peep the deeper detail, um, Anna Mac didn't get touched that night. The night that they ran up on Woe Vicky and um, Tzatziki, it was supposed to be Anna Mac handled that night as well. But they wasn't able to get to Anna, but they got to a, um, well, DJ was sent to get to her because the other girls are out in LA with Krishan. Y'all, why these girls went three rounds and it was three rounds of some bullshit? It really was like, um, Anna Mac got in the third round. I ain't gonna lie. When Anna was a waka, a waka, a waka, a waka, up and up inside her head, she was getting on that last part. But like DJ Scott was doing a spin a or two, spinning around, kicking and jumping and kicking and spinning and like. She said in a, on a live today, this is outside of the episode, but it's in connection to the brawl. She said, I'm always going to try to protect my face. That's why she fights backwards. I'm like, girl, but <laughs> I've never heard that before in my life. I mean, I know people who are terrified of getting their face messed up, but it's like, girl, don't put yourself in situations where people going to run up. You know what I'm talking about? The fight was disappointing. I wasn't impressed. I don't even think they needed that many rounds for real. Tasiki was watching the girls get into it and I was like, ooh, is Tasiki going to jump into the brawl? You know, represent her Baltimore sis. But I know her and DJ don't get along because of the Krishan situation. So Tasiki was like in her confessional. She said, I'm had to learn you something, DJ, because she said, I don't know what you out there doing. She said, she was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and she was. <laughs> She was like, doom cha cha. Doom cha cha. <laughs> she was, though. Lot of damn. Lot of damn. Boom cha cha. <laughs> she really was. But um, Anna scooped her up towards the end. That whole T versus Scotty situation, it's odd to me. It's weird to me. Um, even when T called her a strawberry and Scotty tried to swing on her because she called her a strawberry, it felt weird on both sides. It felt weird on T. It felt like T was trying to dance out of a situation. And then it felt weird on Scotty because it felt like Scotty just trying to do a big one. You see what I'm saying? It was giving phony Fei Fei. And the whole situation just felt weird watching it. And also, y'all, when did DJ and Roly get close? Because Roly was helping DJ tie her hair up and was like, yeah, get her. When you go back out there, kick her in her stomach. You horse kick her. Like, Roly, you're really mean. And, like, you're not hiding it well at all. Because towards the end of this episode, it's revealed. It was kind of revealed on um, on a PJ, too. Because I, I, I got weird vibes on how you was looking at people. And and backing DJ Scott, it's like you're backing people to handle girls maybe you want to handle. But just like Anna Mack said in one of her lives off topic, y'all, she says she doesn't get why Roly keeps attacking our physical looks. And she does go for that first. She was telling DJ, kick her, kick her, make sure you kick her, kick her as hard as you can like that. 
And towards the end of this episode, she's telling Scarface, get her, get her, get her. She keeps running her mouth. You get her, you get her together now. Like that. With the T, now we know T will say something. But now I'm wondering in which situation did you say it? Did you say it before the brawl or after the brawl? It's just giving you a mean girl. And you're just trying to amp these girls up to do your biddings. Why? Why don't you just do it? Is it because that surge? It's just giving weird. Weirdo. Mm -hmm. Well, we see Natalie dividing up the girls once again. Some girls are going on a private plane. Some girls are going on a bus. Saya was saying, like, it's weird that they don't do much as a cast. Like, the only thing they do as a cast is brawl. They don't do anything. Like, she's always splitting them and dividing them up. And the girls Natalie take is not many. It's either two to three. <laughs> two to three girls with Natalie and then the whole rest. It's supposed to get on the bus and I just don't like that. I don't like the division on the show. It's I know baddies is different from BGC, but it's not even given that. It's just given showing these girls on tour, but y'all not really messing with each other. You see so now we follow the bus baddies as they get on the bus and child, them girls ain't on that bus longer than ten minutes before a fire starts up under Smiley. I don't know if Smiley, you know, let loose uh, the caboose, but something caught flame up under Smiley and she jumps up, oh and all the girls running off the bus, child. These girls standing in the road, hitchhiking it. What what Saya say? Thumbing it if you will yes saya is over it i think all that stuff combined is why saya is gonna make the ultimate decision the bus catching flame natalie laughing and the freedom skies no one doing anything as a cast i think i feel you you know what i'm saying like it's not giving what i thought it was gonna give so the girls on the side of the road for a while, they complaining, Saya, Tzatziki, they've been standing for hours and hours, you know what I'm saying? But production eventually gets the bus up and running. When they get back on the bus, y'all, <laughs> they decided to have a pillow fight. And that scene was so adorable. I have to say that was so cute. Now, it just shows that I really do like the bus baddies because they can have pillow fights and like even Anna said it she said I really like being housed with y'all when she was eating her snacks and I like that too because it's like they try to like Smiley said she said it's enough with us bickering about the other girls let's play a game and like they want to you know play games together they're eating I like the bus baddies I kind of wish they had their own show and Natalie and the other girls she wants Zeus gave them my other show because I kind of like the idea of these girls knowing each other and just meeting each other off of rep. You know what I'm saying? Now we got to, you know, vibe and figure out how we're going to get money. I kind of like that versus, oh, we just want to kiss up and suck up to get our bag. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, the bus baddies was lit, but you can definitely tell that like Saya is not really feeling it. So now we see the screen go black and it shows us LA and we see that Krishan is on a separate bus with her homegirls Marsh, Janet, um, and her stylist. We see that she's traveling and basically letting it be known that she plans on leaving the show. She has to leave for the safety of not only her child but um, herself as well. She said it's too stressful. The situation with Tasiki, she said Tasiki told her why she was coming on the show to simply brawl and when she got on the show she said she didn't brawl Tasiki's point is that the girls were too small for her to brawl Krishan's point is you could have easily looked up the girls who I told you to brawl before being on show so I get both sides but um Janet brought up the charges that will Vicky put out and she basically was saying like you know she put them charges on you why didn't she bring the charges to me and that's when um Krishan was like it ain't going it ain't going last or whatever like that and I really don't think it did because that trial really didn't go anywhere ultimately they're talking about Krishan going to church the baby and basically Krishan leaves if you want to continue to watch baddies east for Krishan she is now gone okay she is off cast and something else Krishan said when she was on that bus she was like I'm tired of being used as clickbait but she does take ownership in it she said um it's my fault that it's happening like this anyway and I have to say that was cool that she did end up taking ownership that a lot of the situation she's in, she may have brought upon herself because she says she feels like people are using her. Like, I don't know that feeling, 
But I bet it's not a good feeling if you feel like those around you are just using you. This part was so weird. So now we get a scene at Zeus Airs, y'all. We see Natalie, Roly, Scotty, and Mariah Lynn on a private jet. And Scotty says that she still has sympathy for Vicky, right? And says she wants to knock tea. She said, I can't wait to get to Philly. I'm just like, it's so weird. You know what I'm saying? Why do you want to knock her so bad? I'm not saying not, but at least give a valid reason why. And I don't think she did. I really don't think she did. E.T. tells her side of the story. And basically, she says that she feels like her in the situation with Scotty, when she yelled at her, should have been handled in that situation. She said they went out to the club that night. They danced together. And she thought it was over with. For Scotty to bring it back up before they board the bus, she felt like was odd. She felt like the situation was over with. A lot of people are like, well, you know, you're going to have to deal with that when you get to Philly like that. And she's like, I just don't see the issue and stuff like that. Girl, that girl want to handle you. So you better get ready for it. Um, Saya was saying that it's hard for her to be over East. She was like saying it's been a minute since she's been over East or something. Since she lost her grandma. T and her have a conversation about that. And I think that's another re another thing on top of that. Why, you know, um, Saya was starting to feel a way about the trip. So we see a quick scene with Marsh and Janet calling Natalie to let her know Krishan isn't coming back. Natalie um, first calls out their BS when they say they are in Philly. She says it's bull crap. And um, she knows they're still in LA and she agrees with Marsh and Janet when they say for the safety of the baby, Krishan should be off cast. Natalie quickly agrees before those girls can finish talking that it's best for Krishan not to make a return. Natalie makes sure to say she's putting a baby first, but I honestly don't think it was that hard for Natalie to say that. I think Krishan should sit this one out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it was over. But yes, I do want to give a shout out to Camila, Mila, 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 Mila. She basically gave commentary this whole episode. Let me tell you something, Zeus. Let me tell you something. Camila, thank you for your storylining and your narrating this tea. Zeus, let me tell you something. You know, most shows, when they put people together, we see the drama emerge between them. We see it brewing, then we see the brawls. Zeus literally just give you brawls and then you got to try to piece this stuff together. Camila, thank you because it's a mess. And I think Zeus needs to work on their storytelling. Yes. So we now see the girls entering their new home. They're loving it. They said it's a way better home than DC. They say, DC, y'all need to step your home game up. That's from the baddies. As they enter the home, um, we see that T has fallen ill. T said she can't take it no more. And she says she's going to call it a night and rest. The cast finds out that Saya has left grounds and didn't even enter the home. I at least thought Saya was going to come in the house and say bye to Natalie or some of the girls. No, you don't see her. Once the girls leave, the, you don't see her anymore. Mm-hmm. Saya said, I'm out, man, and left cast. Natalie said the baddies are dropping like flies and she ain't even put out no ointment honey so she said it's time for us to get some replacements baddie replacements yes so Natalie goes to the door yes begging for more hey when she gets to the door she like hello let me get a baddie and who drops from the heavens above Scarface aka the star of Now Nest TV. Yes. Now, I've never seen Scarface brawl personally, but she does have a history of being the one that ran up on Krishan and reportedly dusted her. You know, this is what I'm told. You know what I'm saying? So, Scarface enters a home. It seems as though she has a friend in Natalie. It seems as though she has a friend in Roly. You know, two of the manipulative queens on cast you know what i'm saying and for you to already be up under both wings wow you know hmm, i feel like we might would have got a more genuine scarface if roly and natalie wasn't on cast because what's brewing i know it's because they are telling her what to do now the episode basically ends at this point but before it goes off 
we get commentary for sister Tasiki. yes Tasiki, like i don't know much about this girl but i know she's my sister's enemy like that and you know i know her and my sister have gotten into it like that right but she's like um that stomach turning feeling you would get when you see somebody who hurt your sibling she said she's not feeling that tub tummy turning feeling no more and she said i'm just gonna see where this goes now the reason why i'm gonna respect that is because it's not like she ran to be her friend because her and her sister are beefing and she's not running a knocker because her and her friends are beefing she just like i'm gonna see what she brings to the table you know what i'm saying and then at that point the episode cuts off we see a glimpse at next week. And a big thing about next week, I noticed, is that they're going to the bowling alley because they they starting to do more things outside. Y'all, let me tell y'all how Scarface is going to run up on T. Now, they better explain something. Because if it just ends up being that's their first meeting and she runs up on her like that, then that lets me know something. Because in that clip, Natalie and Roly are smiling. Scotty standing in the background twiddling her thumbs because she's excited that someone's going to do what you couldn't. Scotty, don't get too happy, Pooh. I'm telling you, Scotty, Natalie and Roly are gathering up Scarface and she's doing what needs to be done. You see what I'm saying? Let me keep going. In the midst of Scarface running up on T, right, you hear Roly. Get her, Scarface. Get her, Scarface. She keep running her mouth. Get her. Knock her in her sh. Knock her in her sh. Break her down. And stuff like that. And egging this girl on to demolish this queen. And my thing is, Roly, if T and Scarface don't have like a history and a beef, you know what's this given. But the thing is, I know she doesn't care. And I know many other people probably don't care because people view T as annoying. Now, my thing is this. I'm not taking that away from y'all. She is. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, it's starting to give bully. Roly, you're a mean girl. And that's what it's starting to show. And I think I noticed it before, but it was masked with humor, if that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I know you mean, and I know I wouldn't get too close to you, but it's like, girl, you entertaining. But now it's almost like the entertainment is rubbing off. And it's just revealing that you're a mean girl. You know, that's just what it's giving me. That's what it gave. And as far as this episode as a collective, well, it was cool. I mean, I don't like the division. I mean, the the um the setups are obvious. That DJ Scott and the Mac situation is obvious. You know, of course you set it up. And for DJ to say she had to get her because no one got her last night. So they made sure they got all the people that got on Krishan nerves, basically. Um <laughs> And you know what someone put in the comments on the Zeus app that um, Krishan told DJ Sky to get Anna and Tasiki. <laughs> but she left Sister Siki alone, right? But she got Anna. But um, I mean, this episode was cool. I just don't like the division. Like they keep putting those girls on the bus, the bus breaking down. But it shows the camaraderie. Um, she picked Mariah Lynn over Camila. Okay, but I felt like Camila could have definitely been on a PJ, but that's Natalie's beefing personality. Probably like, you just lucky you should be getting a check. Whatever. Um, Scotty and T. Mm, and then Scotty talking about I'm running up next after Scarface. Oh, God. Anyway. Hmm. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is what it's giving. I think they need better storytelling, but um, the girls are starting to unravel. And we're starting to see them for who they really are. But if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Like I said, if you're returning to the channel, welcome back. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comment section. And make sure you stay locked to the channel. Because I'll keep you up to date with all the latest tea. And remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Are you guys going to miss any of the girls that's gone? Let's see. We have Woe Vicky, Saya, Krishan. Is that it? I think that's all that's gone as of right now. Yeah, that I can think of. If anyone else left, I'm, I don't even remember them. But as far as those go, I would have liked to get to know Saya a little better. But as, what did I learn about her being on this um, show so far is that she can make a drink. You know what I'm saying? And she has somewhat of a personality. But 
I haven't done any research outside of this show and I don't think I will because if this was a normal show that I wasn't doing tea on and, and investigating the people you this show should be able to let me know who she, you see what I'm saying should let me know who she is that 60 second intro when they introduced the cast sure I, I didn't get to know her personality I didn't you know throwing in her story with the grandmother and stuff was cool but it's all last minute you know what I'm saying? Like, f if these people didn't know each other and just was thrown in, in a house for a month, I feel like we would see so much more, but it's like so much going on. It's almost like an um, accelerated process. So it's like you don't really get to know the people as much as you would. And I should not have to do outside investigations unless it's like really, really something. Like, let's say with um, Baddie South. Like, let's say I didn't, I didn't know who Ann Moore was, but when Ann Moore started acting up with Roly, I said, okay, Ann, Ann is making me want to see who she is because they was able to flesh her out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So is it Zeus? Is it Saya? It is what it is at this point. The girl is off cast. But you guys let me know your thoughts below and stay locked to the channel. Welcome to the garden. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.